Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me. It's Mr. Twitch Chat. I already said hi, and I'm not going to say it again, a.k.a. Tech Down. About to bring y'all a new weekly series that I could not be making without the help of K Gaming, or at least as easily. So, quick plug to K Gaming. So, he takes the dev video that is posted every single week and he translates it to my native language of English. So off the heels of just watching this video, I want to react to everything that was actually announced from that video. Once again, I will link the K Gaming's uh, channel in the description and the exact video that I'm talking about in the description if you want to watch that fully in length. Once again, definitely check out K Gaming. He makes some real great stuff, real informative. So if that's your cup of tea, definitely check it out. So. I want to talk about all the things that were talked about in that video because it pains me when it's like, oh, by the way, we're doing this groundbreaking shit. Next topic. No, no. We need to talk about why it's groundbreaking. We need to talk about why it's hype. And that's exactly what we're going to do from now. Whatever it happens, this will hopefully become a weekly series. So if you want to check out all the newest stuff of Alune, definitely give K Gaming a subscribe and definitely give myself a subscribe, aka Tectone, as well. So, boys. Girls, all y'all out there, let's get into it. First thing that we're going to talk about is an absolute gift from God, a saving grace that I have been so damn worried about. And we're talking about, we have stage 10 of the bosses, and I was asking for this in an earlier video, and which was pretty well received, new boss battle difficulties. The devs are currently talking about adding five new difficulty stages to each boss and hey thank god for that dude i cleared every single one of these bosses in like the first week y'all i don't want this to be the flavor of the month man i want this to be the flavor of the decade okay five new difficulty stages and also there is talks of perhaps ramping up the resistances would be so good for the longevity of the game and i cannot believe that this is actually happening it is for me 10 is finite that's it always 10 10 the max no more no less we're like no 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 people cleared that way too quick we need more stages we need better gear levels so hey if you aren't farming your bosses now, definitely get in there. I can definitely see this one coming to the uh, the actual global servers. This would be an amazing change. This would be an amazing, and amazing, and amazing change. Another one that is very on the fence right now is there is talks about removing the boss daily limit. That one is still very much in the air, very much in the air. But I know a lot of people want that, and I know some people don't want that. But either way... I feel like it is good for the game, and here's why. That would give you the choice to what you want to farm, whether you want to farm gear or whether you want to farm experience, gold, and skill ups. It'll give you a lot of variety. This game already has variety, but choosing what you want to infinite auto, that's also extremely, extremely good for the game. So that is something that I would love to see to come to service. However, I'm not shaft if it doesn't. I do kind of enjoy being able to log on, get my dailies done, hit up burning mode, and get out. So. Either way, I'll find a way to enjoy it. I won't go too overboard, you know what I mean? Just get in there, do my dailies, focus on the boss that I want. That's another thing that I would like. If there is an infinite option, then I could just farm the gear set that I want. Because right now, I'm burning mode absolutely everything, as you should be as well. Okay, so that changed. I like it. It's really, really cool. Once again, hey, I want to know after this video, please leave me your opinions on everything that we're talking about right here, okay? All right, next thing. Okay, we got normal. We got hard, and now we're talking about adding an extreme difficulty to the maps here. Now that is a damn good idea. I still haven't cleared hard though, I must say. I haven't been pushing that much, but hey, it's pretty damn hard. Hence the difficulty. But I feel like adding an extreme option to these uh, scenarios would be really, really good because then you can load them up with more quests about, you know, Clear normal, you get all these goodies. Clear hard, you get all these goodies. Clear extreme, you get all these goodies. It'll give the new player experience a lot more stretch goals to aim for. I don't like when you can get into a game and you can feel like you've hit endgame in like a week, for a gotcha especially. So adding in a brand new scenario mode and making it ridiculously hard, I would love that. I don't ever, I don't like feeling, I don't like that feeling of, oh, I, I beat it. I've done that. I've completed it. I always like that grind, aiming, always having that goal right up there. I think it could be really, really, really good. This is one of them 
I mean, this has to be one of the best ones that I hope they add. An extreme difficulty of a scenario, load it up with goodies, make it crazy hard, and give us some goodies, eh? Gotta say it at least eight times. I want some goodies, okay? I want some goodies. I'm a little bit greedy, but I want some goodies. All right. Next thing, just a quick little touch on the Aeon situation. So the Aeon situation in my mind has been completely settled. I love it. I am very happy with how much uh, the Aeon limit is now and everything they like help the buff. It's really, really good. It feels really, really nice. Having pirates, having the boss dungeon and giving us more Aeons every day is really, really good. However, Gameville is still going to continue monitoring the Aeons very, very, very closely and try to get as much satisfactory uh, per player as possible. So if people aren't thus uh, satisfied with their Aeons, don't worry, it's still in the works. They just wanna say, hey, that's not the finality. There is going to be more updates on that. They are still with a magnifying glass, making sure that things are still going good. The Gameville really has their eye on the prize for this game. They are definitely trying to make this game go for hey, years to come. Okay, world boss update. Now this is gonna, you know, this is one that I'm kind of on the fence about because on one hand, I would be really excited for one game mode, but on the other hand, mm, they're both really, really good and I'm not sure which one I want more. So let's talk about which one is more implied that they're thinking about doing. Okay, world boss. Currently, I was thinking that there would be three teams, you play with two of your buddies, and you go fight a boss at the same time, and you get special gear. However, what they're talking about doing is actually making the player build three separate teams, and it being full auto. It would be full auto regardless, but there would be three teams on full auto, okay? Now, let's talk about the ups and downs. One, I would love to have it be co-op and play with two of my buddies, however, that is a real hassle trying to find two players to pay attention to the mobile game, which generally people throw it in the background and forget about, right? But on the other hand, hey, it's fun to goof around with your buddies and show off your teams, okay? It's always cool to flex on your buddies when you whip out the six star plus five bone daddy, okay? All right, but on the other hand, we have the auto system. The auto system on one hand, three teams, that's gonna be really yikes to build, however, long-term stretch goals are very 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 important and getting to that point of having three teams functioning on full auto for world boss that is something to aim for and that's very 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 important so i like either one i will be happy with either i'm way too in the middle to decide which one i prefer it's tough it's tough because i love team building and the ai the three teams are gonna be lots of team building option but in the other team i would love to interact with my community and my buddies so it's up in the air let me know in the comments which one y'all would prefer okay other thing is there's gonna be different buffs every day so you're gonna be have to constantly change your lineup per the buff that is on the world boss next thing and staying on topic of world boss is when you defeat the world boss, it's going to drop you mats, and then you can use those mats to exchange for weapons, which will have main stats, sub stats, and plus one to a skill. These aren't gonna be crazy overpowered pieces of gear. It's just gonna be another piece of gear, which is really going to help clear 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of the boss, and then also the scenario mode as well. So that is really, really, really cool. And I like it, man, it's cool. It'll be, it'll get the mats, pick the weapon that you want, boom, good to go. Okay, last thing, and perhaps, one of the most exciting things. So, a lot of people have noticed that sometimes the game can have units that just feel similar, right? Like a six star plus five bone daddy isn't gonna feel any different from somebody else's six star plus five bone daddy besides what set that it's on, okay? And that's fine, right? That's fine for where we're at in the game. Once again, we're less than a month into a loon, right? Less than a month, B barely, barely. Like maybe a little bit more than three weeks, right? Well, there is talks, and this is how far Gameville is thinking to the future. Post-September, they are thinking about adding, once again, this is all this is all just being discussed, they are thinking about adding slates. And what the slates will do is let you be able to customize your alone stats. Now, what this means, here's what I think. Okay, first of all, they're trying to make each person's alone feel unique when compared to another person's alone. It's kind of like IV training in Pokemon. Like for example, if you take like a Rattata and you have it fight Machops, well then it learns from the Machops and it has more attack. But if you take that Rattata and you fight a Geodude, then it learns the technique of defense so that your Rattata will be more tanky than any of the other uh, Pokemon. So it's doing the same thing for like this game where you can have like a 
pure damage McCarthy, or you can have a pure tanky McCarthy. And it's gonna really establish a nice feel for how the player enjoys building their units. And that's really cool because if you're able to do that, that's gonna unlock a lot more synergy options in the game. Yeah, I wanna go glass cannon Fahrenheit. Thank you very much. I don't know if it'll be exactly like that to full extent, but hey, I love me some Mimi builds and you know I would build some goofy as hell builds. Anywho, I love the fact how far Gameville is thinking ahead for this game. I am so tired of dealing with developers who are like, oh, we need something new? Okay, we'll start thinking about it. No, this is like, oh yeah, in uh, 2022, we're gonna change Endmate to a cat. Yeah, we got it all, we got it all written down there on the, we got, we got, it's on the calendar, man. It's on the calendar. It's gonna be good. All right, hey. That's going to do it for everything that's being talked about right now. Once again, talked about. And I want to give another shout out real quick to K Gaming. Definitely check him out. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing here and you want to see more of it. And also, we're doing giveaways, boys. We just got to hit that 10K, dude. And more to come after that, I promise. And also, I got really big, big ideas for the channel for Alone coming very 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 soon just depending on if the content is going to be released but uh, let's just say if y'all like tournament arcs and anime y'all might like what's coming to the channel if this content gets announced and i believe that it will okay so i've been techto y'all been great y'all have your sad y'all have yourselves a damn good one i'm gonna get out of here peace